In little more than an hour, they're going to be busting a move there at <laughs> Ohio State. Thousands of students will take over the Ohio Union for the Buckeye Thon Dance Marathon. Oh, nobody likes to dance more than NBC4's Dan Perlman. <laughs> he has spent the day at the Union where final preparations are getting underway for the weekend. It really is hard to imagine until you see it. The entire union packed with students, every single one of them dancing to end a disease that hits home for so many. Lauren was Kristen's sister, but there were so many girls named Lauren growing up. She was like, yeah, you guys can just call me Lou. So we we're like, OK. And Lou is what stuck. It was 2014. Lou was diagnosed with leukemia. She was a huge fighter. But 18 months later, she died. I remember her texting me and saying, Kristen, I want my phrase to be never give up. And I want people to know that. And I want people to just grab that and run with it because I'm not giving up and I never will. In Lou's memory, Kristen participated in Buckeye Thon as a student. This weekend, she and her family will be one of many honored as Lou's legacy will also be celebrated by the more than 5,000 students who will turn the Ohio Union into a dance hall, dancing to raise money to end childhood cancer. We are so grateful. In order to dance, every student must raise at least $250. Since 2001, Buckeye Thon has raised more than $10 million. It is going to be an amazing weekend. We're going to raise a lot of money for the kids down the street at Nationwide Children's, and we can't wait. Kristen is one of those who also can't wait. She's an alum, but she is Lou to honor. This is my way of never giving up. So she'll do so by still supporting and helping with Buckeye Thon. To just realize that everyone in this room is doing whatever they can to make a difference in to end pediatric cancer is phenomenal. And the students will begin dancing in just a little while. At 7 o'clock, they will do so for a full 24 hours. Local for you on campus, Dan Perlman, NBC4.